Good afternoon, dear children. Hope you all are safe and sound at home. We are back again, and we'll start with our English class today. In the last class, you have already finished with the alphabets up to Z. Now is the time that we'll learn to write it at a stretch. I'll show you the page where you had finished writing. This was our last page where you had stopped writing Y and Z. Today I will be taking question number one. Please take out your English copies, English number one copy, and take out a fresh page. Mention the date here, C W, and with the help of your parents. Write question number one. Also put the heading A to Z. Use a sharpened pencil and get ready. As I have already told you, the topic for today is question number one. A to Z. Are we all ready? Let us write the first alphabet A. What all A stands for? Yes, my dear children. A is for apple. A is for aeroplane. A is for ant too. Come, let us write A. Take your pencil. Start from the pink line. Bring it till the second black line. Then again, start from the pink line. Bring it till the black line, and put a sleeping line in between. This is alphabet A. Please write with me in your copies. Alphabet A. Next. We are going to take alphabet B. B stands for ball. B stands for balloon. B stands for boat. Yes, I know. B stands for butterfly too. Come on, let us write alphabet B. Start from the pink line. Bring it to the second black line again. Make a curve, and then again make a curve. Yes, this is alphabet B. What will come next? C. Yes, our next alphabet is C. C stands for car. C stands for carom. C stands for cricket. And yes, C is for caramel. Yes, our next alphabet is C. Come on, let us write alphabet C. Start from the pink line. Bring it to the second black line. Very easy. Alphabet C. What is next? D. Yes, our next alphabet is alphabet D. D stands for dog. D stands for drum. And what else D stands for? D stands for dragon too. Yes, our next alphabet is D. And your favorite dolls also start with the alphabet D. Come on, let us write alphabet D. Let us start from the pink line. Bring it to the next black line and make a curve. This is alphabet D. Dear children, please remember we we'll write only four alphabets in a line, not more than four. Only four alphabets in one line. It will look beautiful. 
Yes. Now we come to the next line. E F G H. What does E stand for? E stands for elephant. E stands for eyes. E stands for ear. E stands for egg too. And I know you know many things starting with E. So our next alphabet is alphabet E. Come on, let us write alphabet E. We'll again start from the pink line just below alphabet E. Bring it to the next black line and draw small small sleeping lines. This is alphabet E. And I know what comes next. Alphabet F. F stands for fish. F stands for fan. F stands for frog. And F stands for your friend too. So our next alphabet is alphabet F. Come on, let us write alphabet F. Just below alphabet B, start from the pink line, bring it to the black line and make two sleeping lines again. This is alphabet F. Our next alphabet is alphabet G. G stands for goat. G stands for girl. G stands for gun. G stands for gum too. Yes, the gum which you use for pasting things. So our next alphabet is G. You have to write it very beautifully with proper formations. Come, let us write alphabet G. Start from the pink line. Make a C as you did to write C. Then bring this line back and then a little bit outside and then a standing line. So this is alphabet G. What we have next? Yes, that is alphabet H. It stands for hen, it stands for hat, it stands for home. And what next? Yes, there are many things with alphabet H. Come on, let us write alphabet H. It is very easy, we'll write it quickly. Just below alphabet D, Put a standing line and a sleeping line in between and then again a standing line starting from pink line to the second black line. This is alphabet H. Next we have an alphabet I. We come to the third line. Keep in mind only four alphabets in one line. Next we have alphabet I. What comes after H? I. Repeat after me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Next alphabet is I. I for ice cream. I for igloo. Come, let us write alphabet I. I is for ink pot too. Yes, you are correct. Start from the pink line, bring it to the black line and make two slanting lines. This is alphabet I. What is the next alphabet? J. J for jug, J for joker. Yes, our next alphabet is J, J for jug. Come, let us write alphabet J, it will just come below alphabet F. Make a slanting line and then make a J. Next alphabet is alphabet K. K for kite, K for king, K for kangaroo. Yes, our next alphabet is alphabet K. Start from the pink line, bring it to the middle line. 
then again make a slanting line and then again make a slanting line this is alphabet k which will come just below alphabet g yes next alphabet is alphabet l yes repeat after me i j k l l is for lion and what else l is for lotus lotus is our national flower yes our next alphabet is l come on let us write l just below h we'll start from the pink line bring it to the second blank line and make a slant this is alphabet l after l what what will come yes that is alphabet m i j k l next we are going to write m n o p come on let us write alphabet m but tell me what m stands for yes m is for monkey and all you you all are eating mangoes these days m is for mangoes yes let us write alphabet m just below i we will write alphabet m we will start from the pink line bring it to the black line then we'll again start from a pink line make a slanting line then we again go back from the black line to the pink line and then again we make a make a standing line this is alphabet m next we have alphabet n n is for nose n is for nest yes our next alphabet is alphabet n just below j we'll write alphabet n we'll start from the pink line bring it to the black line then again we'll start from the pink line make a slanting line to the black line and then we go back up again this is alphabet n what is next yes it is an o o is for owl o is for octopus and it's very easy come on let us write o just below k we'll make a circle which will touch the pink line in the top and the second black line this is alphabet o yes it is very easy but you have to make it perfectly next we have alphabet p p is for pen p is for pencil the pencil which you are holding right now p is for pen which papa and mama uses to write p is for parrot yes our next alphabet is alphabet p we'll start from the pink line bring it to the black line and then we'll make a curve just below alphabet l we write alphabet p we revise from the top a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p yes our next line is q r s t yes remember only four alphabets in one line our next alphabet which we are going to write below m is q q stands for queen q stands for a bird named quail okay so we'll write alphabet q 
we'll make a circle as we did for o start from the pink line bring it to the black line make a circle remember from the first black line start making a line and bring it to the next black line this is alphabet q remember your line should not go down this is wrong formation so our alphabet q should just come up to the second black line this is alphabet q our next alphabet is r r is for rose r is for rabbit r is for rat too our next alphabet is alphabet r we again start from the pink line bring it to the black line we'll make a curve as we did for p and then we make a slanting line it becomes an r r will just come below n q r s s is for sun the sun which gives us light yes s is for ship too and s is for sheep too so our next alphabet is alphabet s please write it perfectly we'll start from the pink line and then make a curve this is alphabet s next is alphabet t t stands for tea tea which your mother drinks in the morning which your father drinks in the morning t stands for teacher too so the next alphabet is alphabet t just below alphabet p we are going to write alphabet t make a standing line and just make a slanting line it is alphabet t next we are going to write u v w x u is for umbrella u is for umpire too the one who looks after a match so the next alphabet is u just below q we are going to write u start from the pink line again bring it to the black line then make a curve and bring it back to the pink line it is alphabet u after this we have alphabet v v for van v for vas yes our next alphabet is alphabet v which we are going to write just below r we'll start again with the pink line bring it to the black line and then we go back again to the pink line this is alphabet v i hope you all are writing with me okay our next alphabet is alphabet w w is two v's we'll start with the pink line just below the alphabet s start from the pink line bring it to the second black line then again go back to the pink line then again come back to the second black line and then again we go back to the pink line this is alphabet w next alphabet is x yes x is for christmas tree xmas tree x is for xylophone so our next alphabet is alphabet x which we are going to write below alphabet t we start from the pink line bring it to the second black line we start with the pink line and bring it again to the second black line 
Yes, my dear children. Now we are just left with the two alphabets Y and Z. Just below U, we are going to write alphabet Y. Y stands for yak. Come on, let us write Y. Y stands for yam too. Yam is a vegetable. Come on. Just below you, we again start from the pink line. Bring it to the first black line. This will end at the first black line. We again start with the pink line. And then I bring it to the second black line now. This is Y for Yak. Our last alphabet for today is Z or Z. Z is for Zebra. Yes, let us write Z. Z will come just below alphabet V. We start by making a slanting line at alphabet below alphabet V with a pink line. I bring a line down to the second black line and then I go back again. This is alphabet Z. Come on, let us again revise from the beginning. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. So this is our A, B, C, D up to Z. Please note this is question number one. This was your page where you had started writing with me. This is how your page will look after writing with me. Please take care of the formations. Use a sharpened pencil. Don't use eraser too many times. Remember to put CW, date, question number 1 and the heading 2. You need to practice A to Z twice. So my dear children, this was your English class for question number one. Stay tuned for your next questions. Stay updated. Stay home. Stay safe.